At Aero Farms, we truly believe this is the disruptive technology for the farming industry. So if we're talking about feeding a planet of 8 billion, 9 billion, we need a new paradigm of how we grow our food. This is it. This is the future. Inside an old nightclub in Newark, New Jersey, David Rosenberg and his team at Aero Farms are on the verge of an agriculture revolution. We're able to take that seed, grow it in 16 days in our system, what otherwise takes 30. We're able to have 22 crop turns a year, what otherwise in the field takes three. We're able to do that using 95% less water, zero pesticides, herbicides, fungicides. They're doing it using aeroponics, a vertical farming system where plants grow in mist. So first, we have a tray that is covered in a cloth. And this cloth is our growth media. So we see it on top of the cloth. 24 to 48 hours later, that tray is then fed into the vertical farm and moves further through the system as the plants grow bigger. The leaves are given very specific spectrum of light at a specific intensity and frequency. And we're optimizing oxygen, we're optimizing carbon dioxide, we're optimizing temperature, pH, relative humidity to create a perfect growing environment for the plant. Beneath the LED lights and leafy greens is a system of nozzles that spray mist onto the roots. Then, just over two weeks after the process began, the plants are ready to harvest and be eaten. To date, we've grown 233 different products and the taste is fantastic. We optimize for taste and texture. So you want a peppery arugula, you want a sweeter taste, you want a softer leaf, a harder leaf. We're looking at all those parameters. Right now, a vast majority of leafy greens in the U.S. are grown on traditional farms in California and Arizona. Plants are doused with rounds of pesticides, which end up not only in our food, but in our environment. About 70% of our fresh water contamination comes from agriculture. It's the runoff of all the fertilizers and pesticides that go to our freshwater streams, that lead to algae blooms, that lead to dead zones. Right after harvest, leafy greens require immediate refrigeration and shipping all over the country. It's a flawed system with high rates of spoilage and contamination, which is why Aero Farms is bringing the farm to the city. Got it. One of the company's vertical systems is already in use at Phillips Academy Charter School, just across downtown Newark, where growing leafy greens outside in winter is impossible. We're harvesting the plants right now, and we're trying not to get a lot of stem. We're all about enabling local food production at scale. So given the high trend towards urbanization, build those farms near where the mouths are. It really takes like growing locally to a whole new level. Aero Farms is going through a massive expansion. They're currently converting an 80,000 square foot steel factory nearby into what will become the world's largest vertical farm. And they say it will produce enough baby leafy greens for 80,000 people. It's not cheap though, and that's the big challenge for Aero Farms. Depending on the size of the farm, it could be a $10 million, $20 million more project when you take into account site prep, working capital, as well as the capital expense of a farm. It's a cost that, so far, has kept vertical farming out of the places in the world that may need it the most. The technology is a viable technology that works, and we are going to do everything we can to make it available all over the world. But for now, Aero Farms is keeping their focus at home, trying to reach local customers only a few hundred miles from their new facility. And in 2015, they'll be launching a branded product, sold at places like this, ensuring that your peppery arugula was picked just hours earlier.